Right, the last movie in this section now is about the grade book. Looking at your scores, your raw scores, your grades, and checking up to see how well you've done, what ranking you are in the class, if that's your thing. Um, you can see here, uh, down the side, I've completed all my tasks. Now, how do I know how well I've done in those tasks? Well, we saw in a previous episode that we checked out what our score was for that particular quiz or that particular activity. We can get feedback on that. How do we know how well we've done in the course so far? Well, let's just scroll back up. And the way to get to your gradebook is to go to Course Administration under the Settings tab and click on that. And that will open up the link for the grades. Let's click on that. And we're into the gradebook. There are, there are two views to your gradebook. The first one is a general um, report, an overview report. And that shows us um, what our overall grade is for the particular course that we're on. So it doesn't give us a breakdown of each individual assessment. It just tells us what the grade is. In this case, I've got a B minus, and my grade at the moment is 74.76%, so that's pretty precise. And my grade is one out of one, while I'm the only uh, user on this course at the moment. So there are two ways to go to what's known as the user report, and that's a breakdown of all the events and all the assignments that we've had so far that we've completed. We can either go up to this pull down menu here, click on it, and we can either go to overview report or user report, or we can simply click on user report here. And that really opens up the grade view properly and it gives us a really good breakdown of our assignments in terms of categories. So the way that it's broken down is that the top level folder here tells us what our course is. The next level down here breaks it down in terms of the different categories. So this one is all the class assignments. This one down here is all the homeworks, all the practicals, and all the assessments. And you can see under each section, it gives a total for each section. Um, concentrating on the class assignments for a second here, you can see that um, I completed all but one of the class assignments. I haven't done the risk assessment assignment yet, but it's given me a grade and a percentage for each particular assessment task that I've done. Now the hazard symbols quiz um, I didn't get anything on not particularly brilliant. Um, the safety quiz however I did really well on. I got a B plus and it tells me I got 82.5% and the safety contract upload I got an A plus. I got 100%. Well done me. Um, and then it gives me a overall mark down here for that particular um, category. In this case it's class assignment. So for the class assignment sections for this topic so far I've got an A minus, uh, 88.67%. Um, now the way that the computer or the Moodle course works out what your average is depends on how your teacher wants to uh, interpret that. He may give more emphasis to uh, the quiz, for example, so the quiz would carry more weight, so you'd have to do better in the quiz. Or it could be that the um, assignments, like the risk assessment assignment, carries two-thirds of the marks, for example. So that's entirely up to the teacher. And then right down at the bottom here, it gives a course total. Um, now you can see here the quiz I've taken, that's the one that we made up um, in our quiz movie. Um, I got an E plus four. That was the random selection that I got. Um, and I got 38.16%. So that's taken my grade right down. Well, not right down, but down to a B minus from an A minus. So I've dropped the whole grade. Um, and it's 74.76%. So I haven't done brilliantly. Um, 
I would have hoped to have got better marks than that, but you can see that it gives you a really good breakdown of that particular um, mark. What we can do, we can click on a particular item, so we can go and link to that. Say, for example, I want to go to safety contract upload. So if I click on that, now it takes me back to that assignment that I did, and it's given me the grade there. And also, what would happen is if the teacher gave me any feedback it would say underneath here. Now all it's done is given me a grade of A+, plus, but the teacher could actually have given me some feedback underneath here. And here's my um, assignment that I uploaded. So because it's still in date, I can update this file and the teacher could regrade it if they wanted to. Let's just go back. Okay, so if we wanted to go into the quiz, for example, I can click on Safety Quiz. And you can see here, I can actually go back and review it back all over again. So I can click on review. And it takes me back into that quiz so I can go over it. And that's great for a revision time. Let's finish that. And let's navigate back to our gradebook. So the gradebook is a really useful tool for you to... Um, self-manage your learning you can check out exactly what you've got you can see where you've gone wrong you can see what's brought you down in a particular course or a particular topic area and if you can resubmit that then you can go back and resubmit it so really really useful data for you to um, look at I um, encourage you really encourage you strongly to visit the gradebook on a regular basis uh, it'll give you great feedback from the teacher and from the course itself